In this video, we'll see about the calendars part. Now, apart from uh, email system itself, Outlook can also be used to go for calendars. It can schedule your meetings, your appointments, your tasks, your to-do list and everything. Let us see that introduction to calendars. Now, I'm currently in the mail system. I have this mail icon which is selected at the bottom. If I want to jump to the calendar part, I'll just click on this calendar icon at the bottom and I'll be navigated to that particular calendar. When you click on that calendar icon, the, you'll be navigated to today's month, that is today's month is December. I have this today's year that is 2016 and I have today's date that is 27 which is given here. So by default you'll be navigated to this current month itself. Now, this is the bigger view which you see. It's same like you have the paper calendar where you can see the day belongs to which day itself, Sunday, Monday or Tuesday, everything you can see here. Any appointments, schedules or meetings if you have that will be notified in this boxes itself and you can see those everything here. Right now, I do not have any appointments, meetings or schedules, so I cannot see anything at this place. Okay, it is empty. I'll show you how to create an appointment in the next video itself. If you want to jump to the previous appointment, you can use this arrow key that is previous appointment. If you want to jump to the next appointment, you can go to this next appointment. Where is the exactly current appointments? In this pane, you can see that will be your current appointment itself. This is the larger view, so you can see everything in detail. But if you want a minute detail in this, you can see here, that's a minute calendar here. That is 27th December, which I've got. Okay, that's a December here. Here you'll get a next month, that is January 2017. So if I click on this day, that is 27, if you observe what has happened is, I'll get December 27, 2016, and I'll get this time-wise. Right now it is 1 a.m. Right now it is, yeah, if I scroll down, you can see this is the one. This line means this is the current time. Right now it is 10.30, so you can see that's the current time which is given here. If I want, I can write my appointments, my schedules, everything time-wise. So I can just click on that and I can start writing the appointments or meetings. So this is the December month, this is the next month. If I want to navigate to next month, simply I have to click on this next button. If you see here, if I click on this next button, I'll be jumped to this January 2017. This will become as February 2017. Again, if I click on this next, it will keep on jumping to the next month itself. So here I can get the month wise calendar, everything, and I can find out easily. Below this calendar, if you see, I have this calendar groups and calendars. So I have this my calendars group and I have two calendars. I have other calendars group and I can write other calendars also. Why this area is used? Because I can share other people's calendar with me. I can see other people's calendar. So I can accordingly find out which is the common date which we have free and we can schedule an appointment. So here we can see different calendars of different people right now. Okay. So now let us see the other type of view which we have. We can see this calendar month wise, week wise, day wise. Right now, if you see this calendar is day wise, I can see this calendar. If you see 27th Monday and everything, okay, that is the time wise 7, uh, 4 a.m., 5 a.m., 6 a.m. and so on. Now, if you want to go to today's calendar, exactly. So if I have clicked on this 23 of February, if you see 23 of February, now I don't want to go on 23 of February. I want to go to today's date, which is my system date. So here, if you see in the home tab, I have few areas. These are the groups which I have. In this place, if you see go to, there's a shortcut key if you want to jump to today's date. So simply you have to click on this today button and you'll be jumped to today's date that is December 27, 2015. Okay. So that is the today's date itself. And here I'll show you something named as arrange. You can arrange your calendar different wise. Okay. So first of all, there are two calendars which are given here. I'll just remove one calendar. Okay. That's the one calendar given here. There were two calendars which were shown side by side. So I've removed one calendar from this place. Now, if I say arrange, this is day wise. If I want work week, I'll just click on this work week. Observe what will happen is my work will start from this Monday itself. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday till Friday. These five days are my working days itself. Okay. So if you do not want this work week and if you want the entire week, you can select here. So if I click on this week part, if you see my week start from Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and all till it will go till its Saturday option. So the first day of the week is Sunday. How do you decide the first day of week is Sunday at the back end? I have to do some settings part also, right? So this is nothing but a week wise settings that is December 25th to 31st of December. That's 2016. And if you see in this area, my entire week is selected. If you see that's the entire week is selected. If I click on this work week, observe this. 
the week is selected excluding saturday sundays that means it is nothing but a work week itself so that's a work week if i want i can go by the month wise i can select this month wise calendar and if you see the entire month is selected every view has different use for example if i want to see here by day wise what is my schedule in the entire day what are the appointments what are the tasks i can see this in details suppose if i want to compare my entire week i want to see entire week how is the schedule at 1 pm every day what is the week uh, what is the task i am doing so i can just click on this work week and i can find out the task or appointments which is scheduled same with the uh, week one the entire week saturdays and sundays and the other one is nothing but the month wise if i want to go if i want to travel if i want to schedule some training some meeting anything i can also see this month wise schedule itself the other one is schedule view which we'll see in detail later on when i want to compare the calendars and so on that time we'll see that in detail now there are some few things that is you can create a appointment create a meeting you can create an email uh, there is some contact and task these are also things which you can create here we'll be going in detail so another one is if you want to arrange a meeting via team viewer you can use this option as new meeting from here next is as i said it's today if you want to jump to today you can just click on this today part also okay if i click on this today you will be jump to this today area suppose if i click on this 6th of december 2016 i have selected this one if i if i want to jump from 6 to today's date i'll just click on this today my cursor will be selected as today's date if i want to jump to the next 7 days i'll just click on this place and observe the change i'll click on this place observe the change here if you see 27 to 31st of december and the calendar will also change for next 7 days if i want to do some important thing i can just select this option here and these are the options which are given there are some other options like manage calendars if you want to open the calendars of other people you can use this option as open calendars and you can select the name of the person from the address book from the room list and so other options and the other options are given as share you can share your calendar with your different people if it your team with your manager and so on you can use this share option on this place itself right now if you want to hide this left area you can simply click on this left pane and the calendar will hide okay and you can see the small tasks which are given here email people pane and the task view and so on if you want to bring it back you can just simply click on this place this is a floating bar you can say that's a floating bar that means if i click outside it will hide away if you click on this back again it will come if you want to pin it you can just click on this pin option if you if you have gone through the mail uh, layout part video of our uh, mailing system it is similar to that i can just show you a sample of this this area is nothing but known as navigation pane so if i go to this view tab here on this place view tab and on the left hand side right hand side if you see the option is given as folder pane that's a normal minimized and off so right now which you see it's nothing but normal if i if i click on this minimized option it will get minimized if you see it's minimized again if i go to this folder pane and click on this off it will be off again you cannot see anything at this place itself right so i'll just go to this folder pane and i'll click on this normal part okay that's a layout part we'll see everything in detail one by one in the coming video itself and the other part is nothing but the colors part if you see i have the colors given as this color which is given if i want to change the color i'll just select this yellow color and this area this area and if you see on the right hand side this area will also be colored in this different part itself so i hope you able to understand just introduction to calendar what exactly is the user interface of calendar what are the terminologies what are the names given to this different areas itself i hope you have understood that's all for this video